Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Medspiration. I'm your host, Dr. Nav Badesha. I'm a family medicine physician in the state of Illinois. And today I'll be sharing with you one of the simplest and most effective meditation techniques that I've had the honor of learning. It's called the 478 breathing technique. It's a yogic technique that is known for its powerful benefits to the human physiology, which we'll be getting into a little bit later in this video. I personally learned this technique in my third year of medical school when I was on an integrative medicine retreat at the UC San Diego campus. So I've been meditating for about six years now and you know, I do this technique every single morning to get my mindset right. It's an excellent way to curb anxiety. It's an excellent way to control cravings for food. Uh, one of the best ways to help with insomnia around nighttime when you can't sleep. It's also been proven if you do for one to two months consistently, it can actually help lower blood pressure and heart rate. Again, this is something that I share with patients, friends, family, and doctors in general. I love sharing this technique because it's so powerful. So, you know, without further ado, let's get straight into it. During this technique, you should keep your tongue in the yogic position, touching the tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth. You breathe in through your nose to a count of four, and you hold your breath for a count of seven, and then you exhale for a count of eight. When you exhale, you do it forcibly like this. The exercise begins with letting all the air out through your mouth, then you close your mouth, breathe in through the nose to a count of four, hold your breath for a count of seven, and then you exhale forcibly to a count of eight. You repeat this for four breath cycles, That's it. It's very simple. It doesn't even take two minutes to actually complete. After you finish, you might feel a sudden head rush. You might feel like colors are a little bit brighter, or you might become more aware of the sensations that you feel. The reason this happens is very, very simple. Every time we take a deep breath in, you actually send more oxygen to your lungs. That's why your lungs expand. But at the same time this happens, your heart actually sends more blood to the lungs. Because this technique requires inhaling and holding, and allow for more gas exchange than you would with a typical shallow breath. So by the time you exhale, you've circulated blood that is more oxygenated than normal. And where's the first place the heart pumps blood to? Your brain. This is why you might feel an increase in focus. I use this technique multiple times throughout the day and I've learned that you can slow it down as you practice it more and more and tailor it to your needs. By the way, the brain activity changes within seconds of meditation. Yes. So far, what we've discovered is that the enzyme that controls how we age goes up within four days by about 30%. The genes that are responsible for self-healing get upregulated, and the genes that are responsible for, say, inflammation, many types of cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, heart disease, bronchial asthma and uh, arthritis, they get down-regulated, which is totally crazy. That's it for today, folks. If you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe and become a part of The Healthiest Family on YouTube. We're trying to grow this channel to over 100,000 subscribers. 
So I've been making videos for you guys since like my first year of medical school. It's been like five years and our channel's grown dramatically. I'm definitely certain that as I progress further in my training, the quality of content that we're able to put out will get better and better. Make sure you guys click on that bell so you guys get notifications every time I put out new content. I really appreciate all the love and support guys, so take care.